In the late 1990s, the royal government of Cambodia introduced a more determined policy for agricultural development. In 1999, the promulgation of Sokola No. 1 on sustainable management of irrigation schemes introduced the administrative procedures for creating FUC. This circular stipulates that FUC are responsible for the development, operation and maintenance and improvement of irrigation schemes in partnership with the government. Uh, we have around uh, 2, 000, more than 2,000 uh, irrigation schemes in Cambodia to identify, but most of them are not working because it uh, has been built during the Khmer Rouge period, and mostly during the Khmer Rouge period. MRM had only limited financial and human resources for providing support for these organizations. Where appropriate, these were made available through short-term projects. At the end of the project, the FUC found themselves with limited tools for ensuring the future management for the schemes, and also support services were no longer available. Le GRET avec le CEDAC, on travaillait pendant une dizaine d'années sur des réhabilitations de grands périmètres irrigués au Cambodge. Et euh, les deux associations ont fait le constat euh, que souvent les projets de réhabilitation se terminaient au moment où la construction était finie, mais que les associations d'usagers d'eau qui eux étaient en charge après de leur gestion, eh bien, n'étaient pas forcément à ce moment-là euh, prêts à euh, gérer euh, par eux-mêmes en fait euh, ces infrastructures. Farmer water use in the community, they have been uh, created, but there's not uh, really. Uh regular support for the farmers. And around 300 uh, farmer water user community is uh, registered, but most of them are also not working because uh, it is a very new concept, very new uh, development process relating to the irrigation issue in Cambodia. And the issue of uh, irrigation management transfer is also very new for Cambodia process. In 2009, as part of the ASIRI project, Greet and Sidak decided to set up the Irrigation Service Centre IAC in the province of Kampung Tom with a local team experience in creating and accompanying FUC. Well, in Cambodia, the Azuri project's aim is to establish one irrigation service centre and also to develop a kind of the package of the service and to test it with the farmer water user community. And of course, we would like to uh, capitalize the experience that we gained during the project and also to bring this to share with other countries. And another one is to create a kind of a platform for, for a, a food, or we call it uh, the federation of the farmer and water uh, user community to discuss and to share experience together. Ce n'est pas en faisant une formation de deux mois intensive que après ces associations sont à même de, de gérer durablement leur association. D'où l'idée de créer un centre de service qui soit là, qui soit présent de façon permanente et auquel puissent faire appel les associations d'usagers d'eau quand elles ont un besoin dans la gestion de leur association et donc pour leur périmètre irrigué. L'objectif principal du projet, c'est euh, la mise en place d'une institution spécifique qu'on appelle le centre pour l'irrigation, le centre de service pour l'irrigation, euh, qui est une structure nouvelle, qui euh, est une, pas une structure tout à fait privée, mais n'est pas non plus une structure communautaire ou paysanne, mais vise à intégrer à la fois des professionnels et des paysans dans sa gouvernance pour qu'ils réfléchissent ensemble sur la meilleure manière d'apporter des appuis et des services. Et donc c'est une institution mixte et c'est ça qui fait un peu sa particularité. Mais ici il s'agit en fait de, de mettre les, les irrigants en capacité de décider par eux-mêmes de qu'est-ce qu'ils veulent faire et comment ils veulent euh, développer leur association progressivement, qu'est-ce qu'ils veulent améliorer en priorité. Et l'outil, l'idée qu'on a eue pour le faire, pour changer en fait en quelque sorte la relation hiérarchique entre, entre les experts et les agriculteurs, ça a été de travailler sous forme de contractualisation. During the three years allocating to the ASIRI project, the center developed services adapted to the local situation, creation and reactivation of FUC, elections, 
financial management and audits, collection of water fees, creation of a database and collection of data, operation and management of water resources and system maintenance. We provide service to the food while produce the simple tool to the food to be able to adapt and we produce a budget plan and the financial reports for the food to be able to present to the farmers, to the members to, to show that uh, they have their transparencies in, um, uh, in the food. In some cases, I see rehabilitating existing infrastructures to provide better water management using the Projects Investment Fund and promoted community investment through funds established during the decentralization process. The difficulty that we face during the project is, I could take uh, the case that instant unit is that within our team we don't have the expertise of the engineering. So we discuss with engineer and then to pro, uh, to ask them to provide us a design for constructing the canal. Uh, but when we got that, we see ah, according to our experience, it's too cost for the farmer for maintain it after the construction. So we have to negotiate with them and to to bring this plan to discuss with the farmer and to bring back. And finally, we decide completely to change the plan. But it of course it takes a long time in order to do that. Since it is new, there is also a lot of challenge for us because uh, we are providing the we are trying to provide the. Pay, uh, service. This is paid by farmer. Even though it's uh, the this paid service is not uh, uh, enough to to provide the support also to to the ISC financially, but it's at least that it is one of the innovation that to ask the farmer to to pay for the service. This work was carried out in close collaboration with government bodies and in particular provincial agency through the DPRM Provincial Department for Water Resources and Meteorology and Morum with the Department of Fook. After three years spent developing services and contracts with irrigators, the center has demonstrating the pertinence of its irrigation activities in Cambodia. For IC, it is a very new uh, in Cambodia because uh, after I have been working for so long in Cambodia irrigation sector, we feel that it is necessary to have a team that a real uh, have a real experience have. A, expertise in uh, supporting the, the farmer uh, organization, especially this farmer water user community. That's why uh, we have uh, IC. We would like to keep this team together, and it is uh, unique in Cambodia. There's no such uh, organization that is really working only in the irrigation sector. There's a provincial department of water resource. There's also NGO working in agriculture development, in extension work and others, but not uh, in the irrigation sector. That's why obviously, have created this one. IC was established in 2011 as a non-profit NGO, the only organization specifically working in irrigation management. It has also introduced innovative governance in that its members are IC employees, external experts, FUC representatives, FWN and SEDAC.